Hi guys, my name's Kim and today we're going to be reviewing the Logan movie. Now I wasn't originally going to film a review for this one because I'm not a huge X-Men fan. I like the X-Men and I know most of the characters but I don't actively go out and read all the comics and I'm, I'm not overly pumped for all the X-Men movies so when the Logan trailers came out, I thought it looks fucking great, but I mean, X-Men's never really interest me. That being said, I did review X-Men Apocalypse a little while ago, so I mean, what am I even talking about? But a few of you guys actually asked when I was going to do a Logan movie review, and I was like, well, I wasn't. So I went to go see this movie a few nights ago, and honestly, I was blown away. This movie was hardcore. I mean, hard. Core. The story was on point, the characters were on point, the fighting scenes, oh my god, can't even comprehend the amazement of those fight scenes. I literally don't even know if I have anything bad to say about the film. No complaints. So before we start get talking about the film, I just will give it a rating and I'm definitely going to say an 8 to an 8.5 out of 10. So a quick plot about this film for those that don't know what it's about or anything like that. This film was set in 2029 and of course it is the final Wolverine movie. Hugh Jackman won't be doing any more Wolverines after this and I think the ending of this basically told us that he's kind of done. So yes it's set in 2029 and it revolves around Wolverine or Logan and Professor X Charles Xavier. So from the look of it it seems that it is post Old Man Logan which kind of explains why Logan and Xavier were just over everything. They were just done, they were weathered, they had had it, they were waiting to die. We heard nothing else about any of the other X-Men characters and I'm sure we would have if they were alive, so I think we are safe to assume that they are all dead. But in steps Laura. My god, Laura. What a fantastic character. So Laura, who is known as X-23, comes under the wing of Logan and Xavier and they're basically on a journey to help protect her so that she can find Eden, which is supposed to be a mutant savior place. So the world that they were all living in seemed to almost be a post-apocalyptic film. I mean they were, everything was very post-mutant. New mutants weren't being born, there was none around, they weren't in the media, just completely evaporated. So Charles and Logan discover from crossing paths with Laura that she's part of this screwed up science project very similar to Weapon X which has scientists merging mutants DNA with regular humans to create these extraordinary children. Now I think it's beyond obvious if you've seen the trailers that we know that Laura has Wolverine's DNA and is essentially his daughter. I mean mini female Wolverine. I'm on board. Now I do want to talk about a few of my favorite things from this movie and this will include spoilers so if you have not seen this film go watch it come back so we can discuss. Firstly I want to talk about the fight scenes and the car chase scenes. Just everything was amazing. This film was so brutal. We just saw the Wolverine that we've all been wanting to see for literally 17 years finally raw uncensored perfect. These fight scenes were absolutely incredible and there was from the get-go we were in a fight scene from the very beginning but that being said these fight scenes weren't overused they were used pretty well because they were plot driven. Every single fight had a purpose even if they were fighting the same people there was a reason for it and it all happened in different contexts with different things happening it wasn't just here's the villain fight next scene here's the villain fight it wasn't like that it was all very well structured and very perfect and oh my god that car chase scene I think is literally Literally my favorite car chase scene of all time in any movie. Logan was literally driving a limousine in a car chase and when he got to that fence, the metal fence, and he tried to drive through it and he couldn't drive through it, I was just like this is so realistic. There is no way a limo could drive through a metal fence and not get caught on it. So that was just perfection. It was just so good. Oh. Secondly, I want to talk about dialogue, or sometimes the lack of dialogue. I feel like the dialogue in this film was very, very well written. Every single piece of dialogue was supposed to be there. There was no, you know, small talk or flapping around about things, about explanations and all that kind of stuff. It was either done visually or it was done very cleverly in dialogue. And even the lack of dialogue, the character of Laura, a lot of people thought in the film that she was actually mute, but she only really spoke when it was important that she needed to speak but I believe that actually gave her a lot more charm because it meant every time she opened her mouth and had something to say the audience were all eyes on her all ears listening we want to hear what she has to say because she doesn't say anything except for a few things so listen up 
And please can we talk about the fun banter between Logan and Charles. Oh my god. Just everything is fuck this, shit that. And the amount of swearing in this is just amazing. It's quite realistic and the way that they go at each other, it's, it's, it just shows that they're so beaten down, they're so weathered, they're just done with everything. So it's very, it makes it very believable that they've been through so much shit. They can just be quite real with each other. The last thing I want to talk about is one of the major spoilers and that is the shocking deaths in this. And I don't mean the way that people were killed, although sometimes that was a bit shocking, but just who got killed in this film. So this, these, yeah, these will be the main spoilers, so please be warned. Now I did expect Charles Xavier to bite the dust in this one and we all know that he did. It was such a sad scene, oh my god. That whole scene with the family and everything, I just, I can't believe it. The whole family got destroyed and I think that was that's very important in Wolverine's storyline because he's always about like I get close to people and they get killed, he's had so many families that were slaughtered, his friends that were slaughtered, people that are just trying to help him, they got slaughtered because they're just in the wrong place at the wrong time, they're just good Samaritans, no matter what, whoever's in his radius always seems to get killed. Just so many shocking deaths in this, just oh my god, it was unbelievable. And the final shocking death Logan. I want to say I can't believe they killed off Wolverine. I can't believe they killed off Logan, but I mean, I feel like it was time. As hard as it is to say, I love Hugh Jackman. He's like our national treasure. We all love Hugh Jackman here in Australia. But it was time to end the Logan franchise. It was time to end the Logan arc. It was just, he did so well with everything. I mean, some movies were a bit, uh, but he always portrayed the character to perfection. He is Wolverine to me. He is Logan. I can't see Wolverine without seeing Hugh Jackman now. It's just, he is what he is. And it now looks like they're going to be focusing on these younger kids. They've kind of taken a big risk in sort of just getting rid of that middle part of the story. But I mean, maybe that's what works. Maybe that's what they want to do. They want to get into something new and different from the new era and get some of the younger generations interested in, in X-Men. So that was it guys, my full Logan movie review. I hope you enjoyed. What did you think of the film? Let me know in the comments below. As always, Thank you so so much guys for watching and I will see you very very soon. Goodbye